That's cool. All right. I feel like this is like almost staged. I just asked Jonathan a question, and I said that I watched this video of do the little supposedly sh supposedly it was supposed to be Jonathan Lee Richards pretending Richards Riches Riches pretending to be the uncle of a Sandy Hook victim child, and the video that shooter. I saw. Wait, the you shooter. were the uncle. The shooter. So the shooter was name is uh, Lanza. Lanza. Adam Lanza. Correct. You were supposed to be the uncle. Correct. Okay. Why did or so, are you the so, uncle? No, so, anyways, ju uh, just so, so what explain happened this was to... like you know at the time in Facebook there was a you know we had groups called exposing fake news, fake news in reference to not fact checking, not doing their resources, not doing the their due diligence, right? So when Sandy Hook happened. You know, I, I was affected by that. And I went up there to pay respect to the victims. And I was laying down flowers and, 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 and candles, and I was there. There, New York Times reporters and the New York Post were all around there, and I hate them because they lie. They're just they're, they're mm -hmm. garbage reporters. So one reporter just came up to me and asked me, hey, what's up? Uh, I saw you laying down some uh, flowers. What's going on? And then I, I said, well, who are you with? He goes, my name is so-and-so with the New York Times. And I said, oh. I said, well, my name is Jonathan, Jonathan Lanza. I am the uncle of the shooter Lanza, Adam Lanza. I'm here to pay respect. He's like, oh, my God, you're the uncle? You're the uncle? What's going on? I was like, yeah, yeah, what's going on? I was, just, I was just with him. I was just with Adam a couple days ago before he did this, man. We're, we're traumatized, and, and it doesn't reflect who we are as the Lanza family. You know, it just went off, and then it went viral. Mm -hmm. It went viral. But the point I was making was that they do not fact check. And they have to be very careful when these media oh, people go it. around and interview people at crime scenes claiming their family members. For instance, yesterday or two days ago when we were down there uh, looking for Kathleen Moore, a, 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 a white woman was handing out flyers. And I went up and asked her, who are you? And she claimed she was Kathleen Moore's mother. And, and you know, I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to kind of, you know, say, are you sure you're a mother? You know, she's black and then you're white. Are you, you know, I didn't want to be disrespectful. I mean, gave her a hug and I said, hey, I'm here to help you. Found out later that was not her mom. It was just some woman claiming her to be the motherly role to her. But that's the point I'm making because there's people out there that that just can claim they can be anybody to mm -hmm. the media, and then they don't fact check. And, and then we just had another that. incident yesterday of somebody. And who was that about? Uh, yesterday, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, dog, like a dog, like dog bounty hunter. Dog Bounty Hunter, when Kathleen Moore was found, Dog B Bounty Hunter just claims and puts out something without any evidence. Yeah, oh, my, um, my team exactly. found Kathleen Moore. My team. And I'm like, what? We've been out there for days. We didn't see your team out there at all looking for Kathleen Moore. So I instantly contacted the Pasco County Public Information Office uh, of the Pasco County Sheriff's the Information <laughs> Office. They're nice. And I showed, the, I showed the, his screenshot of him claiming it. I said, is this true? And they said, absolutely not. It's not true. Yeah. Because it wasn't true. It was false. He was just making stuff up. And that's what we have to be careful about when these cases happen. These tragedies happen because these people come out of the woodwork and make false claims and just say they're people. But we, we've been victim of it ourselves. We've been victimized of it out in um, the Kylan Schulte, Crystal Turner case with the woman named Elka who's claiming she was... A family member. I don't know which what a cousin. A cousin of Crystal Turner. But we didn't roll with that. But we did but with the mother. The truth to these people like come and say, "Hey, I'm a cousin of this mm -hmm. one, so or I'm a family member, so or something." They're not. They're just outsiders, just coming in for whatever reason. So that's all I was trying to do is expose it and show them, and they did exactly what I did. So you got to be careful about media outlets. They did it with the they did it with the potato case too. They did it. There were some news organizations that were writing articles. The son of, about of the uh, family about... friends of uh, of Brian mm -hmm. saying that he's you know stuff he did when he was in high school with Gabby, but they were names. And then you do searches on these names and you can't find nothing on them. Yeah, they don't you know fo post their photographs or nothing. They just write and make up names yeah. and say you know to create a story and it's sick. It's shameful.